What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, I wanna to show you a powerful Linux search tool called F-Search, which allows you to use a graphical user interface to find your files instantly. So let us get right into it. All right, so I already have a video on this channel showing you a tool called Everything, which is an instant search tool for the Windows operating system. So a tool that allows us to instantly find our files and directories on Windows. And there I would say it's a must have tool because the default Windows search is quite weak. It's quite slow and it doesn't find everything that we're looking for. On Linux, however, everything does not work. So it's a Windows only tool. And on Linux, we have to look for different alternatives. Now, some operating systems offer a default functionality. For example, on Pop! OS, you can just press the super key to open up the search. You can type find and you can enter a file name. You can also install some terminal tools like Fuzzy Finder or other alternatives. But today we're going to look at a graphical user interface tool that is quite similar to everything, which is called F-Search. F-Search is basically like everything for Linux and to install it, you just have to open up your command line and you have to use your default package manager to install this application. So sudo app install on Debian based systems uh, and then F-Search. And of course you need to provide your root password. And in my case, it's already installed as you can see. Then all you have to do is you have to open up F search. And uh, I don't know if by default, it already includes some directories, but you need to define a database before you can search something. So you need to go to edit, you need to go to preferences, and then you need to go to database and you can include certain directories that you want to search in. Because of course you don't want to search all the directories. When I enter a search phrase, I don't want to search in the bin directory or in the S bin directory, because usually I'm not going to be looking for binaries. I'm looking for documents, for Python scripts, for executables, uh, for binary files that I wrote myself. And those are not going to be located in slash bin and uh, also in not in many other directories. But of course, you can also include those if you want to. The idea is you include paths that you want to be searching in. And when you provide a search, uh, a search query, you're going to find the files that are located in here. You can see that I have home, user, optional, etc., cetera, uh, variable, and I also have my Windows uh, hard drive mounted here in the mount uh, file path or directory. Uh, and then I have my desktop from my Windows hard drive mounted here as well for search. Um, you can also exclude directories here, which is quite interesting because uh, right now I have the home directory included. So it also includes the desktop. And if I now go to my desktop, I open up a terminal, I touch a new file, let's call it uh, desktop file.txt. Then I want to create a directory called special directory, for example, I want to go into that directory, and I want to create a new file, let's call it special file.txt. Um, in this case, now I have this file on the desktop, I have this directory with this file also located in a desktop. And uh, what I can do now with F search, first of all, I would have to update the database because every time you run F search, it indexes the whole uh, file system that is relevant. And if you want to do it manually, you can just say update database, you can see it's indexing everything now so that we can search it instantaneously. Uh, it does that every time we start the application. But uh, if you do something after you started the application, and you don't re index everything, it's not going to find any new files. So if I want to look for this file now, I just say desktop file. And you can see I have some trash files here. And I have the actual desktop file uh, on the desktop. So those are just files in the trash. And here I have a uh, the desktop file that I'm actually interested in, I can double click to open it, or I can just find a path here. Now I can also look for the other file, which is located in the special directory by just typing special file.txt. And you can see again, it files it finds this file, or the file that I have here in the trash that I already created, uh, when playing around for this video. And it finds this file. Now what I can do is I can go to preferences to database to exclude and I can exclude this special directory on my desktop. So I can say don't look in this directory, then it's going to re index everything. I can delete my query, I can still once it's done uh, with the indexing, I can still find uh, let's wait for it. There you go, I can still find the desktop file dot txt. However, I will not be able to find the special 
special file.txt. I will only find the one that's in the trash, which is not this one here because this is the special file.txt. And the reason I don't find it is because it is on the desktop, but it is one of the excluded directories, so it doesn't look into it. Uh, that's the basic idea here. And you don't have to even specify the full file name exactly. So I can also just look for top file dot something and you can see it finds a desktop file. And I think it also works when I have something like esc file or no, okay, in this case, oh, actually, it does work. So esc something and then file txt, you can see it finds desktop file txt. So it is a fuzzy search, you don't have to provide any exact uh, file name. And you can also edit other search preferences like um, match the case or search as you type, you can adjust all of this here. And you can also um, say update on start, or you can say update or re index the database every whatever minutes or hours. So this also works. And this is basically everything for Linux, a GUI search tool, I use it quite a lot, because Sometimes you know roughly what a file is named, but you don't know exactly where it is. And it's also quite tedious to use fuzzy finder in the command line if you want to do it uh, quickly. And if you want to open up a couple of new files here or, or a couple of uh, multiple files here. Uh, and it's it's more convenient to use a graphical user interface to do this. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.